The subtract node does an arithmetic subtraction where A is subtracted by B, which is done per channel between multi-channel data types. Below the last node setup, let's add one world position, one float and one subtract node. Change the render type to transparent cutout. Set the float node as a slider with a range of minus 4 to 4, also setting it as a property and connecting it to the B input of the subtract node. The world position node will have its Y coordinates connected to the A input, then the subtract node's output will connect to the opacity mask. Compile the shader after connecting the nodes. We're getting the Y coordinates from the world position node, then subtracting them to a float and applying the resulting gradient to the object as an opacity mask. Subtraction is not commutative, so value order is important. The divide node does an arithmetic division where A is divided by B. Add two texture samples, selecting the grass D and the rock D textures. Place a lerp node, then connect both samples to it and its output to the albedo. We'll need to set up a gradient mask for the alpha of the lerp node, which will control how both textures are interpolated. Proceed to add one texture coordinates node, two floats, one subtract, one add, and one clamp node. Open the previews for the mat operator nodes so you can observe the values they're holding. Set up both float nodes as properties and sliders, with ranges of 0 to 1. The first float node will control the position for the transition, connect it to the add and subtracts A inputs, and the texture coordinates U into the subtract node's B input. The second float node connects to the divide's B input, which will be used to control the softness of the transition. Next, the subtract node's output goes into the divide's A input, and the divide's output into the add's B input. Lastly, we're using a clamp node to limit the mask's values from 0 to 1, in order to avoid unexpected results. Connect the add node's output to its input, and then set the maximum value in its node properties to 1, then connect it to the lerp's alpha. Proceed to compile. We've used the x-axis gradient provided by the texture coordinates, then transforming it through the mat operators in order to get a specific mask to use in the lerp node. Move the first slider to define the position of the transition, and the second to define its softness. Division is not commutative, so value order is important. 